Hello, this is Russell Longcore from PortableOnlineBusiness.com and I'm talking to you today because you were just doing a Google search and you were looking at the words Retirement Savings Statistics. And I'd like to talk to you about that today and the reason why is because um, if you're looking for those kinds of things, uh, you're looking for some information as it relates to your retirement savings and your retirement investments. And, and over the weekend there was an interesting article in the uh, New York Times and it was in their money section and, the, and the, the article was entitled for retirees a million dollar illusion now in this article are some statistics and I'll give them to you and they're kind of scary so hang with me because this ain't a pretty picture I'm going to paint let me give you a pull quote from this the, 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 uh, the, lead, uh, the lead sentence in the article says a million dollars isn't what it used to be now here's a, here's a pull quote a typical 65-year-old couple with a million dollars in tax-free municipal bonds wants to retire. They plan to withdraw 4% of their savings a year. That's a common rule of thumb drawdown. But under current conditions, if they spent that $40,000 a year adjusted for inflation, there is a 72% probability that they will run through their bond portfolio before they die. Now, if you know anything about investments, you know that a a municipal bond is probably the safest possible, or at least it used to be, the safest possible investment to park your money when you're a retiree because it, most of the time they are tax-free bonds. So the income that you uh, earned from it, you didn't have to pay taxes on, which is wonderful. And secondly, they were so safe uh, that uh, they would throw off 3, 4, 5 percent a year uh, in their interest payments and uh, you, could, you could take the interest payments as your income and never touch the principal. So, and that's what, for, for decades, that's what people did with municipal bonds. Well, it's not that way anymore. Um, the municipal bond market is in shambles. Uh, the bond market entirely is in shambles, corporate bonds and government bonds. And uh, bonds don't, I mean, bonds yield what, one, two percent, something like that this year, these, these times? So if you're if you were going to if you had a million dollars like this couple did, and you were wanting to take four percent out, but your rate of return was not four percent, that means that you're not going to just take your interest from that bond as your income. You would be taking your interest plus a little bit of your principal every year, and you do that over 20 or 25 years if your health is good, and you don't have any challenges from health, and you don't have to take down even more of your bond money, uh, your investment money uh, to pay for medical bills. Um, you're still going to, there's a 72%, that's nearly three out of four, a three out of four chance that you're going to run out of your money before you run out of lifetime. And that's very scary because who's going to take care of you? If you're a baby boomer, I'm going to be 60 in, uh, in, uh, in August of this year. If you're a baby boomer, you've run out of time. You add from 25 to 65 to make all those savings choices. Uh, and now it's, it's, it's over. The, your earnings lifetime of 40 years is over. You can't go back. You can't go back to age 25 and do it again. You're out of time. And if you've lost money in your investment portfolio or you haven't put away enough money into an investment portfolio to have a comfortable retirement and the Social Security Administration is bankrupt, uh, what are you going to do? Who is going to take care of you? Are you going to take care of yourself? Who is going to take care of you? Well, I've got a uh, I've got a, uh, a solution today. Now this solution isn't for everybody, so please understand. Uh, this requires a little bit of work and a little bit of, a little bit of study uh, and a little bit of training, but I've got a great solution for you, and it's, it's called the principle of, of equivalent assets. Have you ever heard of it? Well, if you haven't heard of it, uh, here it is basically, that you can start a business from your home uh, that will throw off a monthly income for you uh, that's a residual income that happens year, that happens month after month um, and that is equivalent to the amount of money that you need monthly uh, that you may have lost during these recession times or in one of the four different economic crashes that happened during our lifetimes. Um, you can make up that money. You probably can't, I mean if you had a million dollars and you lost it all, we can't probably, probably can't. Um, make up a million dollars for you. But you'd have to earn two million to have a million left, right? 
but we can show you a way that you can have a business that will throw off the income just like it's an asset that you'd already earned. So here's what I want to do to bring this to a close. I want you to go to portableonlinebusiness.com. The link is right below us here. Once you get there, click on the word retirees. You'll see it at the top of the page. Go to that page, read about the, the uh, uh, principle of equivalent assets and see how that you could actually have a portable online business you do from your home or anywhere else in the world that you get a, that you can get a uh, internet connection you can do it part-time and it'll throw off great money so this is Russ Longcore from Portable Online Business thanks for watching I hope that we get a chance to talk more uh, please leave your uh, name and email when you get to the retirees page and let's talk about how we can help you have that retirement that you want and that you dreamed about. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.